Hi, today I'll be talking about how to make this uh, Christmas tree project. So, uh, you know, with the holidays approaching, you probably want to make something special for your friends or family. And I think this is an excellent gift for Christmas or you can decorate your Christmas tree with that. Um, so I used to make this tree um, the wool but it's um, kind of in a row form it's uh, wool rolling so it's before it become yarn it's um, kind of soft and fluffy like this and I use the one which is 20 microns so I'm gonna use different colors it's nice to combine different colors and in the way Luna felt in it's a lot of like painting with wool um, also, I'll be using different um, texture. I like to combine um, my wool with a little viscose because viscose has a little, has more shinier surface. So that would give um, more interest uh, in more different texture for your project. Um, my favorite also using a little bit of silk because silk gonna give you this beautiful um, effect of snow on your Christmas tree. And you really need just a little bit of it, not too much. Um, also, if you know the felting before and you have little piece and, uh, pieces from previous project, you can use them because it's excellent way to use unwanted yarn and you know, be very creative and use different materials. Um, so, uh, for, it's very simple um, uh, to make this Christmas tree. So you, all you need a little pattern, like make of plastic, which gonna prevent uh, front and the back of the project by sticking. Because you know, the, in Luna Felting, um, wool sticks to wool and you can't separate it. So this is just working as protection between front and back of your project. And um, so you can definitely make the size bigger, smaller, but keep in mind that usually whatever original size you have, it would shrink. So on average, like 30%. So keep that in mind. And sometimes you may want to do like little tiny little baby Christmas trees. They look cute. So um, uh, we also need organza net, um, which you see later in the video why. Um, bubble wrap paper. Um, and you also need a towel. So it can be old towel. It doesn't have to be new and clean. So any old towel will do just fine. Um, also liquid dish soap with no color i because i don't want to say use add any color to my project um water bottle with as you see water there already mixed with liquid dish soap um and i make holes on top of this um, bottle so that liquid would come out easy when you need to wet your project um also a um, piece of hand bar soap um, it's a small one i cut it in small pieces just easy to use if you want to purchase the uh, the kit for christmas tree or template uh, with a template and some yarn you can go on my website which is uh, www.oxanafiberstudio um, and find it in my shop. So, so we're going to use rubber bands to secure the sides of the uh, uh, wall you make with your project in it. And it's just easier to roll it when you have these two rubber bands on the side. So this is about it. So now we can begin. So we're going to use some um, three different shades of um, green color and a little bit of viscose. Also for embellishment, we'll be using some uh, silk. So we start with lighter color of your wool rowing and we're gonna place it, separate carefully 
uh, leaving not forcefully leaving the long um, long sides of the wall connecting to each other and overlapping when you're laying it horizontally and just keep doing that till you cover the whole entire surface So now we're going to um, add more uh, uh, wool going vertical direction, coming up. And I'll be using some darker color of wool and the lighter one. And cover all the way to, to the top of the tree. And then I'm going to use also some uh, shinier, um, like viscose, uh, shinier fibers to give a little texture to your tree. You don't need a lot of it, just a little bit, um, just for a little bit of texture. And then using some silk fibers. Um, Placing them very lightly, opening up all the fibers right to the top, which eventually going to look like um, frosting, like a snow on that tree. You don't need much of it, so just, you know, really just have to see the colors coming through and shape it. So now we're going to cover your project with net and we're going to add some soapy water and just add that dishwashing soap to the warm water and start very gently pressing down and making sure all the water gets through your project and then at some point we start rubbing it. Again, very softly, gently, because the fibers did not settle in yet. So now we're going to remove the net of your project be very careful because it may start sticking to the to the net and then make sure you fold the bottom of the tree under so the plastic is still showing and then start working softly again very softly on the surface of your Christmas tree then carefully take it under and flip it over and again making sure that that plastic is still sticking and then fold the rest of the fibers to the front um, trying to get them as close as possible to the edge and slightly pulling with your fingers So now we're gonna um, apply on the other side some uh, wool rowing. I'll start with lighter color and making sure that every time you put a little piece you're overlapping the previous one and separating you know the, the wool uh, not with the force. So making sure that the whole entire pattern is covered. and keep going all the way to the top. So when you finish the horizontal um, uh, side of the fibers, you can go vertically. And for this time, I'm using a little darker green color 
And again, the same way, um, the next, the next uh, fibers I'm applying, they overlap in the previous one, so which make a strong bond be um, between the fibers. And you go all the way to the top. So the next thing we're going to use a little bit of viscose to give a little shiny surface um, for your Christmas tree. You just need very little of it just to put it over your two layers, make sure your um, Christmas tree is still tacked together. And also we'll be using some silk and you need very, very little of it because it would create like very nice um, texture over. So the next step you should um, kind of reinforce this part by applying just very, very light um, layer of wool kind of gluing it to the rest of the um, fibers and again we cover it with a net um, add some soapy water it's better if it, the water will be warm because it helps the fibers to connect a little better and again press down to make sure that all the water goes through your wool and start very gently rubbing it and helping fibers to connect better. And first you try to do that very softly, not disturbing um, the rest of the connection between the fibers. Again, we're gonna remove the net very carefully, making sure that fibers don't get stick to it. And fold it the bottom of your Christmas tree, making sure you can still see the plastic pattern inside. And again, reinforce with gently rubbing it the surface. I think sometimes it's easier to do it with a, um, with a glove. Again, flip it over carefully and the rest of it the rest of the fibers from other side we very carefully bring it over to other side so now when we put all this um uh fibers on another side we're gonna um uh try to make a tight bundle with this um with this project. So we need some rubber bands and uh, we're gonna use the towel and we're gonna put towel underneath the bubble wrap carefully and, you know, roll it uh, and pretty tight. Straighten it and then make a tight bundle. And then secure the sides of the bundle with some rubber bands. Um, it's just easier to roll this way. And start rolling, applying even pressure. It's not just rolling, but also applying pressure. So now we're going to carefully remove rubber bands on both sides and open your bundle. So again, do it carefully because your um, Christmas tree, your project can be get stuck to the towel. Turn it face down 
and straighten it up a little bit and make another bundle again repeat everything secure both sides with rubber bands and roll So now we're going to put it, uh, your Christmas tree horizontally and again make a um, bundle, secure with rubber bands and repeat rolling. So we're doing that four different directions for fibers to connect better and also when we do that the fibers shrink so the whole entire Christmas tree would shrink. Um, evenly in all different directions. And now again we're gonna make um put it uh, face down make it bundle again secure with rubber bands and roll it. So when we open our um, bundle, so we see how much the Christmas tree shrunk. You can see it because it's much smaller than the pattern we begin with. So now carefully holding both sides, we move the plastic pattern. You don't need it anymore because both sides now not connected they actually separate and you'll see you have a little three-dimensional triangle which we're gonna make it look like a Christmas tree so now we're gonna add water to bubble wrap and we're gonna rub some soap against the surface to create some suds um, which gonna help us to work further on our project so we start by the edge and we start gently rubbing against the bubble wrap to reinforcing the edge first. Again, go gently, don't go too strong. So now you're gonna work the main body of your uh, Christmas tree so keeping your hand inside and uh, preventing from uh, front and back sticking at this point it's going to be a little harder but still possible so um, and then maybe start working also on the top of the tree and reinforcing at this point your project is pretty strong so don't be afraid to rub hard uh, most of the fibers stuck together, so they strong. But um, occasionally, open it up, making sure that um, the back doesn't stick to the front. Keep working on your project and. Um, Work a little harder now on the bubble wrap because your project is strong at this point. But keep opening and kind of shaping your project while you're doing that. So now you'll see um, how much smaller your Christmas tree began from the original pattern. So it's around 30% um, it shrank. Uh, because with 
uh, all this rolling in um, tendering the uh, wool rolling it shrunk and fibers become strong and uh, stick together So keep shaping your project and um, with between your hands just kind of rolling the, especially the end of the uh, tree just to make the edge tighter and stronger and keep reshaping it every time you do so. So to dry this um, tree, we're gonna make a cone uh, from the uh, napkin and we're gonna put it inside of your tree, kind of filling up the space. So when your project dry, it's not gonna be flat, it's gonna be three dimensional. For embellishment, I'll be using some beads, um, which you can sew to your um, Christmas tree, or you can actually use a hot, um, hot glue gun if you prefer. So um, I'll be using different uh, color beans. In this case, I'm using a blue one because my Christmas tree is kind of blue. But um, you see all other colors like green, and uh, you know, a little gold color, depends on your project. Um, also, you can use the ribbon if you decide to um, paint it on the Christmas tree. Enjoy the project and happy holidays.